And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part three of our seasonal tournament practice with Tarek Draven. We've been getting some good practice in so far and games been going pretty well. We're seven and three so far. We're going to get another five games in now with our uh, first of three seasonal tournament decks. <clears throat> right now the plan is to play this deck and Poros Give It All and uh, Midrange Frostbite. I think those are going to be our three decks. Um, so the next three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to uh, spend one day on each deck. Today's Thursday. We're playing Tarek Draven today. We're going to play Poros Give It All tomorrow on Friday and Midrange Frostbite on a Saturday. And then we're going to have the seasonal tournament on Sunday. So that's that's the plan. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep uh, let's keep going. Let's get back to it. Let's play some more games. We're <coughs> going to be a curve out and combat trick deck uh, with some good combat tricks with cards like Might and Pale Cascade, with our champions Tarek and Draven, and then Kato and Captain Farron at the top end to finish games out. It's a pretty good deck. Okay, that's a good test. Ezreal Draven. I think Ezreal Draven's a very good deck. We haven't played against this yet today. So, a good test. Let's get rid of the Might. Hmm. <clears throat> so, we, we won't have the attack token until turn 5. So, we can safely play Goat, Draven, Taric. And then turn five, we have Pill Cascade. Probably don't need Pill Cascade before that. Okay, or we can play we can play Soldier instead of the Goat, and then I have the Pill Cascade mana. Raise your weapon, that just makes life a little bit better. Being able to save stuff from removal. Save stuff from removal. All right, so they're down to thirteen. Oh wow, Kato. <clears throat> the only problem is, like, you know, I can't go Tarek and then into Kato and then also have my, you know, I, I can't play everything like that. And Ruth Rand, hey, thanks, thanks for catching the stream. Um, how am I doing? I'm doing good. Ready to shine. Yeah, I'm doing real good, and and uh, yeah, enjoying this nice practice day. Looking forward to the tournament on Sunday. Let's go with this. Shatter that. Watch and learn. Never submit. <clears throat> no, I don't think I've played a Darius deep deck. No. Hmm. No, I don't. I don't think I've tried anything like that. Would Would have really liked to have another transfusion or pill cascade here that would be able to help up, you know, pump up the health of these things. Okay, so that would not have mattered. Um, so yeah, we'll just put them down. You suck. I'll do put them down to ten. Kato. <clears throat> nice, okay. Yeah, keep keep watching the channel, keep picking up those channel points. We'll be here before you know it. Sure. 
don't need to do any blocking and make it easier for like they have like you know another scorched earth or knocking guillotine or something like that okay so they don't have those cards but and now it's gonna be easier for them to kill this mountain goat love the transfusion that's good Let's see, so that's three, four, five, six. And we have eight mana, so let's play this Grenadier first. Because I'd rather, you know, kind of want to support the... You know, I don't really want to support just something with one health, so we'll support this. Oh, no. That's a killer. Got something for him! I feel like they're not going to be able to kill my Grenadier. Two. Like, I, I don't think they're going to be able to kill the Grenadier. They just have two removal spells, but I'm gonna try. Oh, that puts him to one? Oh, I need to use another spinning axe. I forgot about that. That does one less damage because the Grenadier doesn't die now. Uh, I guess they can go to one. They don't really have. <clears throat> Alright, so now I just need the Grenadier to die. Cool. We'll take that. Because they don't have any Nexus healing. Because they need, you know, they need like two Mystic Shots or, you know, Mystic Shot get excited, like that kind of stuff. They need two removal spells. Kill the grenadier. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Don't blink. Oh, so hopefully they can't do thirteen or seventeen points of damage to me, hopefully. It's possible. We are not out of the woods yet. It's definitely possible they can, you know, do a lot of damage this turn and then next turn finish me off with burn spells before the grenadier dies. Yes, please make that attack. Do it. Death doesn't scare me. I don't I don't understand this attack. We'll see what their master plan is, but Okay, they chose death. Alright, eight and three. Yeah, this deck is good. All right, another Gohard deck. So we're we're two and zero against Gohard so far, but they have been close games. I do like Might because they have like all those like little blockers. So I do like Might. Maybe I keep one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Mr. Snuggles. Um, what are your thoughts on the state of Go Hard and what decks are you seeing that counter it well? Oh, to be honest, I, I haven't really like. played the Go Hard deck that much myself, so I don't really know exactly what, what counters it that well. Um, people in chat maybe have a better answer, but it looks to be a strong deck, and uh, I see a lot of it. Like, this is going to be our, this is our third time playing against it today, so still see a good amount of it, and. It looks good. This could be a fearsome deck, I guess. It could be a fearsome deck that just has a twisted fate in here to uh, surprise people. Time for the main event. That is an option. Yeah, we're in the top 700. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Devotion to battle. So they go trade trade. Um, Transfusion doesn't doesn't interact with Tarek at all with any of this stuff, but it just it gets two out of seven, you know, towards the level up. Um, you're targeting two different allies, so you get two out of seven. That's 
Another Tarek. Beauty and life. So I can make my things a lot larger with the Blessing of Targon this turn. But that's not great against Vengeance. There's plenty of killing left. I think next turn's the might turn. I don't I don't think we need to do might yet this turn. It's just basically do I wanna do I wanna use spinning axes? No, let's use this gem. Basically, do I want to use spinning axes so that I have three mana still for might slash culling strike? Or is it okay going down to two mana and having transfusion and that's what I'm going to do? Next turn is going to be our crazy we play might and kill them turn. Say your farewells. This is rather dull. What's that you got there? Ah, so they did have vengeance. So I'm glad I didn't just go go in with the Targon, you know, Tarek or the Might or anything. No. All right, so we played that turn well against Vengeance. How am I doing on cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. I should have checked that before I let damage happen, just in case it was 10, I would use a spinning axe to start leveling up Draven. Don't worry, I am here. So mana next turn is gonna be 10. Two, four. Seven, ten. That's gonna be four, five, six, seven. What are you waiting for? Okay, so we're good. We play in build rules, son. So they're at seventeen. better give me enough time. This timer just goes down during the animations, which is really rough sometimes when you're playing Tarek. Good, it's giving me enough time at least. Okay. Alright, so they both can't take damage or die. <clears throat> now we go Whirling Death. And so the Whirl- we- we- the Draven has two spinning axes, so the Whirling Death's gonna level up the Draven also. Tarek is so good. <laughs> German Potato, I'm doing really good. I hope you're doing good also. That'll put them to one. Time for the money makers. GG's. Cool Draven animation. There we go, Tarek Draven. It's so powerful. These gems aren't just for show. 
All right, Fiora Shen. This is another really good deck that we have not played against today. So good. Pra this will be good practice. Because, yeah, Fiora Shen is awesome. And this hand's pretty good. I guess, you know, the, the one problem with this hand is Transfusion is not a spell that uh, Tarek copies over. But I do like that it's good protection against, like, a, you know, Fiora or whatever. Okay, yeah, we. I have played Yasuo Leona a couple of times before. It's been a little bit, but we have played that deck before. I will gladly take that trade. Green Glade Caretaker can get very fierce, and um, uh, Fiora does a good job killing my two one anyway. So we'll just take that trade. We speak with blades. I can't pass because I pass. They pass. I don't really want to trade Draven. So I guess I go Mountain Goat. I don't have a good plan against Repost. Beauty and life. So I guess we can see. We can see if they just keep Repost up or not. Okay, they are not keeping her post up. To protect all unyielding. Let's draw a couple cards. Love Culling Strike. That one's good. I think they have Sharp Sight for like how they're playing. I can, I can Culling Strike Fiora and also, like, Transfusion and buff up my Taric, but the problem with that is if they repost, they go repost on Shen, kill Taric. I really don't want that to happen. I really don't want that to happen. So I think instead I'm just going to Culling Strike here. I really don't want repost Shen, kill Taric. Taric's too good. So yeah, if they if they want to use yeah if they want to use repost right there. That's that's great. I'll I love I'll take that all day. Time for the main event. Okay, so we're at three. Do it this way. I don't really need to keep the other transfusion available, do I? No, not really. I'm not gonna play the other gem yet, though. We'll wait on that. Style. All right, got, <clears throat> got another repose out of their hand. Neither of those were Fiora repose. Those are both regular repose. All right, so I still have nine cards. Water changes, but never breaks. So we can draw our card for turn just fine. Okay, so the Shen's about to level up. So I go. Let them eat souls. Try me. Sweep them away. Eight mana. 
They are under my protection. The mountain endures. Got six mana. Just gonna tr try to keep my things alive for now. <clears throat> okay, so they're having those two strike Tarek. Let's see, three, four, five. Alright, this would level up Draven. Lame. This is too bad. Alright, so deny's gone. Um a gift from the river folk. They get to draw two cards with the river shaper with the river shaper. The ore is still at one. So they are drawing two spells with that river shaper. Probably just shouldn't have blocked with the Tarek. Okay, so we'll see what they got to try to stay alive and stop Captain Farron and his mighty decimates. So they could have like Sharp Sight plus Concerted Strike. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. Oh, they have Lifesteal Barrier. Hmm. Lifesteal Barrier. I can't just pass, though. If, if they do have Lifesteal Barrier, I can't just pass, because then they just play that again. Yeah. I guess Lifesteal Barrier is a problem. Hopefully they don't have that. Precision we know these two cards are spells. Balance favors you. Yeah, it's too bad. Did have lifesteal barrier. Six. Yeah, I mean I could I could be dead. That was that was great. That was That deny that deny was perfect and then the lifesteal barrier was perfect. They had the two two perfect cards that could kill me. Now if they have just any other barrier, I'm dead. Well, okay, never mind. I guess I still have one blocker. Okay, never mind. I still have a blocker. Not just an open attack. No, it's not necessarily GG's. Like, we don't have this in the bag at all. I mean, I, I can't double decimate next turn. I have nine mana. Yeah, this is, this, will be quick. this is not game. So, yeah, they... <clears throat> not game yet. River shape the land and give it life. We've continually had it exactly what they needed. Water changes but never breaks. I bring clarity. Honor guide me. No 
further. What form will the waters take? Waters are so a gift from the river folk. Might is our best draw step. You attack, make sure these things can't die. Or take damage. We're gonna get another two spinning axes in hand. Time for the money makers. Anyway. Playing one drop. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play one drop right there or not. Oh God! Protect and strike. I guess I was supposed to. Got an axe with your name on it. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to. Well, I, I wouldn't have blocked. I would have just blocked with the one drop over here. I wouldn't have blocked with Draven, so that that still would have killed me. Even if I would have played the one drop, I wouldn't have thrown those in there. GGs. Whatever, man. Not my fault. All right, same matchup. I'm not keeping two one mana cards, so it's what you know. Would I rather have saboteur or soldier? And considering we do not have the attack token on turn one, I think this saboteur is going to do better attacking. No, I don't think this deck needs any nocturne fervors. I have my orders. I'd rather just play an extra Culling Strike. Culling Strike's really good. They they did have the repost for that Culling Strike before. Let's get Mountain Goat in play with the opportunity to maybe get gems. Yeah. Yep, these are all yeah, I'm putting I'm putting up like these practices up on YouTube and then I will put up the tournament as well on YouTube. I long for a worthy opponent. Alright, gotta make this a 3-1. So Draven is my best card to play. If I play Draven and they just play nothing because they hold up Barrier, what do I do? But they could also just have Sharp Sight, though. Honestly, I think I should maybe attack. Attack's much better against Bright Steel Protector. Let's play this and have Transfusion available. That, that Transfusion can cancel out Sharp Sight if they're playing a Sharp Sight. Everything's in place. If their plans were post. You know, and then good job, I guess. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Could repost and kill my own three one to keep them from getting a Fiora kill, but that's or transfusion. I mean, but that's not worth it. Your move. 
Precision and grace. Okay, so the problem with playing Precious Pet is, you know, they, they get single combat for, like, their thing and kill my Precious Pet. Where I could play the Soldier, which will also be two power next turn, but I can gem the Soldier right now. You know, while the Soldier is still just a 3-3. It's Draven time! I never hold back. Try me. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. I find them unworthy. And Shen is great. We're a very similar deck. You know, Fiora and Shen and Tarek or Draven and Tarek. Very similar. Awesome three mana champion, very underrated four mana champion. And supports. Really hope they don't have all this and then also sharp sight. You know, maybe I should be blocking with like granite deer. I mean, I am being kind of greedy of getting another, trying to get another spinning axe. So they definitely have another barrier card in hand for how they've been playing this. Yeah, so they because of how they pass and how how they like waited on the Shen, that's definitely saying that they have another barrier card, like another repost in hand. I'd say my my worst matchup is probably like the Anivia deck. Best matchups are just kind of like other other mid range decks. Like I think the Gohard matchup is pretty good. We've won. We're three and zero against that today. Um, I don't know. Think about playing this Precious Pet. If I play the Precious Pet, that means we have one Spinning Axe. If I don't play it, we can have two Spinning Axes if we discard Captain Farron and, and Precious Pet. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Let's play it. I haven't played against Anivia a ton, but yeah, like they have, um, like they have good blockers, like Hapless Aristocrat, Aver Averroes and Sentry, especially Averroes and Sentry, and then um, Avalanche is a problem, and then yeah, Harsh Winds, and you know just your your normal like Vile Feast and. Um, things like that, and then Anivia attacking is annoying. I think if, if they have Judgment, they're going to kill me. It's not something I really play around that much. Got axes, need victims. In position. Got something for them! Everything's in place. I give you muscles! Such unrefined style. Okay, good. That's not life steal barrier. So that's good. That's life steal barrier. All right, so I should still get him. We got ten ten damage first because of the sabotage. So we have ten damage happening. They're at ten. But yeah, this this will be out on YouTube, you know, tonight, tomorrow morning, tomorrow. Thanks, trust me, dude. All right, let's see. We are playing against some Trundle Trindamir. This could be Yetis. Let's mulligan this card, and we have the attack token turn five with the Kato. I'll keep it, but really want to see a Tarek and a Draven, or one or the other. Raise your 
been sun wet. Follow the horizon. Okay, so Mountain Goat gives me something to do. So play into Avalanche or not play into Avalanche? That is the question. Guess we're gonna play into Avalanche. Hopefully no Avalanche. I did one less point of damage to them in that worst case scenario that they did have Avalanche. I also don't create the gem. But it was a real high upside play, right? Like, if they don't have Avalanche, if their plan was just, like, Catalyst of Aeons that turn, we are going to do a lot of damage. I think I bl block here. They're not really... This attack is saying I don't have Vile Feast, you know, and obviously that's their play is saying I don't have Vile Feast. Also saying I don't have Withering Whale, which Withering Whale is another card I was worried about. This block could say I have Troll Chant. That's what this block could be. That yeah, that that attack that attack probably is saying I have Troll Chant. I think that's what that attack saying. Now they can't Vengeance and Troll Chant. That's a good Avalanche. Wow. Wow, that's a good Avalanche. Yeah, that's... That's a great Avalanche. That shuts me down pretty good. No, German Potato, I play tons and tons and tons of decks. Like, I play four different decks usually every single day. Just this this week is a little different. I'm playing just Tarek Draven today because we're playing because we're getting ready for the seasonal tournament tomorrow. So I'm playing just Tarek Draven today. I'm playing just Poros Give It All tomorrow. And we're playing Midrange Frostbite on Saturday. And then we'll have the seasonal tournament with those decks on Sunday. Time for the main event. So what's the best play against Troll Chant? Is it a block here, Pale Cascade? A bit of an awkward time to draw a Culling Strike. No, I, I, I'm glad I didn't let them waste the, the Troll Chant earlier, because again, I thought that, I, I was thinking the Vengeance, like they were going to want to Vengeance the Kato and, and everything. I'm, I'm happy with how I played, it's just second Avalanche was perfect. I would make the same decisions again, though. Yay! I'm ready to shine. I, of course, I obviously wish that I would have had one other thing that I got Tarek support, Kato, and Kato support something else, but. Don't always get what you want. Dang. There's that vengeance. For beauty. I'm playing. So, like, I can attack, but I don't expect them to block. So I like so that puts them down to eleven. I think I just play the might and do three damage. Right now, put them down to eight. They could block. Nothing's tougher than a 
control. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. their plan being Trindamir. Warm hearts and hot soups. I'll knock them dead. This is gonna be fun. So hope they don't have atrocity. I think I have to open it. Open attack. They don't have to block. So again, maybe I should be using the might. Yeah, I should I should have used might. Force them to block. I've been doing so good at that all day today. That was like the first time that I did that. Okay, well they just had atrocity, so I was dead no matter what. I did. Dead atrocity. All right, ten and five. We knew that they had a whole bunch of eight plus cost cards in their hand because, like, with their trundle attacked, they had you know went plus three, and they you know so besides the ice pillow, they had two others. I guess, I guess I should have blocked, you know, I didn't play around at Atrocity, you know, like, that's, that was, like, my plan was to not play around Atrocity by not blocking with Captain Farron. I, I could have blocked with Captain Farron and played around that, but it was going to be more difficult to kill them, and it was going to be a longer game, and, um, I thought that my best chance of winning was, especially when, after seeing the plus three with the Trundle, I just, you know, wasn't that likely they had a trot, you know, that one specific card, and I, and so I chose not to block. But it uh, came back to uh, bite me. All right, so like our list still so far. List is list is doing good. Deck's doing good. We'll take ten, you know, ten and five. Winning two out of every three. That is certainly a good record. Um, yeah, close game there. But uh, those those Shadow Isles for all your control decks. I don't don't love playing against those with the Terra Draven. But that was still. Very, very close. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck, the seasonal tournament, this format of playing just the one deck during a day, um, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully y'all are enjoying these games. We've had some very good games and some real good practice. All right, but we got five more to go. So uh, we got another part four coming up. But that's all I got here for Tarek Draven. All right, so thank you so much for watching part three, and I'll see you for the next video.